Congratulations, Bethany and Renee. Next, representing the Finley School District, Suzanne Feeney. Good afternoon, everyone. It is with great pride to introduce to you one of the finest teachers that we have in the Finley School District, and his name is Andy Clayton. And we would like Andy's family to stand up and get a round of applause, too. Thank you for being such a fine family to a fine young man, a Riverview High graduate also. Andy is a science teacher at Finley Middle School and Riverview High School. In the last seven years that I have worked with Andy, I have come to know him as a dedicated professional committed to improving student learning both inside and outside the classroom. Andy first joined the Finley School District in 1995 as a coach. And over the years, he's coached uh, all, these, all the sports at the secondary level. Softball, baseball, basketball, football, and he's a coach. He's a great coach. You'd like to have your kids on one of his teams. At that time, uh, he worked in the private sector, uh, but our staff uh, saw something special in this young man he, and encouraged him to work for his degree. So in, 19, in 2005, Andy earned a bachelor's degree in elementary education with a K-8 endorsement from Washington State University. He's also highly qualified in the area of science. After completing his student teaching experience in Finley, Andy joined the staff in August of 2005 as a science teacher at the middle school and high school. Russ Hill, uh, the Riverview High School principal, says the following about him. Andy has worked hard to increase student achievement he has done so by successfully working collaboratively with the department to utilize his best instructional practices. Andy is a positive team player, an active member of a building, and an integral part of the success of our students. Michael Harrington, who is our middle school principal, says the following. As Andy's supervisor, I've observed a person who is committed to his work and is always willing to give of himself for the betterment of others and for the organization. Andy is a lifelong learner, dedicated to keeping current in the field of science. This dedication to learning is passed on to his students in a fun, informative, and high energy format des designed to accommodate all students. Katie Westfall, a student at Riverview High, and uh, one of our students on the softball team that Andy coaches, says the following about Mr. Clayton. Mr. Clayton has allowed me to take my leadership skills to a higher level. I'm inspired by his ability to put a smile on everybody's face. And he demonstrates qualities that a great leader should possess. Andy, you're an outstanding person, a teacher, a coach, a dad, a son. As a former high school a Riverview High graduate, I am proud that you're part of the Finley School District. 
and it's an honor to present this award to you. And I guess I give this all to you. This is mine. Congratulations, Andy. Next, from the Kennewick School District, I'd like to introduce Superintendent Dave Bond. As Deanna said, I'm Dave Bond, the superintendent of the Kennewick School District. I've learned that one of the perks of this job is that I get the privilege of being involved in events like this. I'm thrilled to be able to be here today to recognize some truly outstanding instructional leaderships in the Kennewick School District who are just excellent educators. The teachers that we're honoring today have earned the respect of our administration, our students, our staff, and our parents. So it's my pleasure to introduce two very outstanding teachers. And I'll begin with Laura Boyd, a first and second grade looping teacher at Sunset View Elementary. So Laura, if you would come up. And as Laura makes her way up here, if her family would stand and be recognized too. If you walk into Laura Boyd's classroom, you might find yourself in a different world. In her classroom, students have gone on safaris, built African tribal homes, gone on archaeological digs, explored the Antarctic, and even explored bat caves. Her creative approach to teaching makes learning come alive for her students and often for their parents too. You see, Laura sends weekly updates to her parents about what's going on in class and they often include a family homework assignment to be done over the weekend so that her parents are also involved in the learning process that's going on in her classroom. But Laura also has a special knack for connecting with her students, even those who are struggling, to ensure that they feel comfortable and safe in her classroom environment. I'd like to share some words from one of her former students who wrote a letter while nominating her for this award. The student said this, when I started going to school, I wasn't sure I was going to be able to attend after kindergarten. I have a severe peanut allergy and my parents didn't think I would be able to stay in school for lunch and keep from having an anaphylactic reaction. Mrs. Boyd changed all that. She met with my parents and me and reassured us that she would do her best to make her room the safest room possible for me. I knew every day I might have a reaction and I could even die. But every day for two years, she kept me safe. On the days I didn't think I could make it through the day, she would talk me through my anxiety about school. By the end of second grade, I had very little anxiety left. I liked going to school. Her care for me gave me the chance to settle down and learn to my fullest capabilities. I know if it weren't for Mrs. Boyd, I wouldn't be as good of a student or as confident as I am today about taking risks and getting over my fears. I now am an honor student at Kamiakin High School and hope to attend the Naval Academy at Annapolis after graduation. Ladies and gentlemen, this is a teacher who really makes a difference and has an impact on her students. I am pleased that one of the Crystal Apple Awards for Kennewick goes to Ms. Laura Boyd. Congratulations. Wait, 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 don't run off. Don't run off. <laughs> you get to officially get this. Yes. Thank you. Thank you very much. This was an honor. I'd now like our second recipient, Tammy Droppo, to come forward. And as she's coming forward, if she has family, I think her husband's here and other family members. Go ahead. <laughs> 